Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Tuesday, December 29th. I am David Lehman, Bishop of Caledonia, and I'm joined this evening by the Dean. Hello. And we are on the traditional, ancestral, unceded territory of the Shimshan people, for which we are most grateful. Our service of Compline this evening is found in the Book of Common Prayer and begins on page 722. As we are in God's presence, let us be still as we come into a time of worship. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 4, found on page 333. Psalm 4, page 333. And to mix things up, we'll say the psalm responsibly by the whole verse. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy upon me, and hearken unto my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye blaspheme mine honour, and have such pleasure in vanity, and seek after falsehood? Know this also, that the Lord hath chosen to himself the man that is godly. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe, and sin not. Commune with your own heart, and in your chamber, and be still. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness, and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than men have when their grain and wine increase. I will lay me down in peace, and take my rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of Mark, beginning in the tenth chapter, at the thirteenth verse. People were bringing little children to him in order that he might touch them, and the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, let the little children come to me, do not stop them, for to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms, and he laid his hands on them, and blessed them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say it together the Tilicus ante terminum. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favor thou, Wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, 
and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language that is nearest to your heart, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. We say together the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? And that thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. And the collect for this week. Almighty God, who has given us thine only begotten Son to take our nature upon him, and as at this time to be born of a pure virgin, grant that we, being regenerate, and made thy children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by thy Holy Spirit. Through the same our Lord Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the same Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Visit, we beseech you, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers and petitions for this evening for the people and places that are upon your heart, either naming them aloud or sharing them in the comments box where we may all enter into prayer with you. We pray this night as we do every night for those who are suffering from the coronavirus for the many new cases in this province and particularly in this diocese, for those who are in hospital and in ICU beds, for those who are at home, for those whose recovery is taking longer and wrought with many obstacles, for those who are anxiously awaiting test results, and for their family and friends that journey with them and and encourage them in these days. We pray for all others who are undergoing medical care and treatment at this time, for those needing surgeries, uh, procedures, treatments, for those in various forms of recovery, 
for those who are expecting and and waiting with ex excitement for the birth of a child, for those who are in palliative care, that all may uh, have the medical care that they need and safety around for those who journey with them. We pray for the doctors, the nurses, the technicians, the therapists, all involved in the medical care of people, that they may be kept safe from this virus, that they may have compassion and abundance, and that they may be kept safe as they minister to those in need. We pray for those who lead us, praying for those in the communities, for those in the province, for those federally and those internationally. Praying this night for those who are under, uh, undertaking the recovery operations in uh, Croatia after the earthquake there today. For those who uh, are leading countries that are torn with strife, that they may strive to find peace and reconciliation, that a spirit of respect may grow amongst all people, and that we may be willing to lay down our grudges in hopes to build a better world. We pray for countries that have long-standing struggles, thinking of places like Ireland, uh, for, uh, for Rwanda, uh, 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 Uganda, Nigeria, Kenya, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, that, that God's wisdom may lead their governments. And for those governments that are struggling with natural disasters like Croatia, thinking of Yemen, um, um, the ongoing struggles also in Ethiopia and Eritrea, uh, the Philippines, uh, Fiji, Ecuador, Honduras, Nicaragua, and for all places that are struggling to recover, uh, and for those countries uh, like Canada struggling to recover economically from this past year. We pray for those who lead the church, praying this day for Archbishop Welby of uh, Canterbury, for Linda Nichols, our primate, for Mark McDonough, our National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop, for Melissa Skelton, our Metropolitan, and for all who lead in the parishes, both lay and clergy, and for their wisdom, that they may have wisdom to lead and to further the mission of the church in these days. We pray for, our, for those who lead in business and commerce. Praying particularly today for all those businesses, small businesses that are struggling, uh, for those that um, uh, that you know, uh, have those uh, shops and and retail um, uh, chains that have found uh, this year not to be as bountiful as it has been past. For those places struggling to decide how to and continue to employ staff and personnel, for those um, that are struggling to maintain the restrictions that are upon them. We pray for all in the hospitality industry and for the difficult uh, task that they have as people wish to gather and to gather with enthusiasm, especially these days of celebration as, and for this week as we uh, come to New Year's, uh, that they may f uh, abide by the restrictions and, and keep their staff particularly safe. We pray for those who are working the uh, tourism industry, for those who um, have welcomed people, and BC's had a bit of a shift. Some of the snowbirds have stayed home and gone to different warmer parts of British Columbia and and have are, are, are wintering there for those um, 
who are accustomed to welcoming people and and the extra work involved in that, the extra care that needs to be given. Uh, and for their staff and and, um, and for the decisions that they need to continue to make. And we pray for all those who are responsible for the food we have, from harvesting to processing to shipping to selling, and for those who are working on the front lines and in the stores, that their employers may do everything to keep them safe, and that they may know how much they're valued and appreciated by us all. We pray for those other workers, those migrant workers that come to this country to work and uh, sometimes aren't housed in the best conditions and sometimes are uh, expected to do much. And we pray that they will be kept safe, that their employers will do everything to, to ensure that their staff are well tended to. So we pray this night for all those whom you have named. I see a number of things, although I can't focused to well enough to see them. Uh, we pray for those uh, who you've named as we offer our intercession. Be mindful, of the Lord, thy people are gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us, unworthy as we are, to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I invite your thanksgivings for this day, those moments which you've seen the hand of God at work in your life and in the lives of those around you, as we have opportunity to praise God in these dark days. I am thankful that no one was up to see me try to dance across the street this morning when I went outside and discovered that hovering around zero in this place is not a good temperature to be at and it was a little slick and I honestly thought I was going to get to the main drag um, by bouncing down the hill at the end of the street and um, and doing a header. Um, uh, so I'm thankful no one's got to see that and that I actually was able to get back to the house without um, um, wounding anything other than pride uh, and uh, for a fabulous walk this afternoon that ended with a very enthusiastic Augie inviting me to throw his frisbee. And and so making friends with Augie today and knowing that um, I think I'll never be able to walk past again without having to throw a frisbee. Uh, and so for your thanksgivings, uh, we offer our prayers. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety for power to work and leisure to rest. For all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children, we praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace and believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We continue on the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless and preserve you this night and deed forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our holy hug this night, and pray that you have a most restful night. Uh, we gather tomorrow uh, with St. Mark's Dawson Creek for morning prayer at 7 a.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. Mountain Time. Uh, and then at 12.15, the Dean will lead us in midday prayer from St. Andrew's Cathedral next door. The links for these are above in the description. 
God willing, I'll be back tomorrow night at 9 o'clock to share again with you a service of Compline. Until then, have a restful night. Nighty-night. Toodles.